would like to thank all of our patrons for your continued support. This one's not as fancy. What if they're shooting a movie? I think that would just be, you know. Like oh, there you are. Kids. I was like, where is he? That would be like calling the shark omens if we take this out. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, wow, he went through it. Where's the other Where side? did the teeth stick though? Right there? Right there. Probably. Oh, yeah, let's look at the bottom on the, under the belly. Yeah, so I want to see how it's going to shake it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> see if there's another tooth in there. I think, like, what is that? I see yeah. shit. It's like a smell of 19 foot great white. Yeah, there's, there's no Boy, that ain't. That's a pretty sturdy ding. Oh, you just did like, like, like one little side. Yeah. Well, there's. We well, said, you know, the guy was sitting in it. Like, like, <laughs> that's just, that's the bummer. Like is a, he's right here. Yeah, it, it was like close. He said. Uh, oh yeah, his, his butt's right there. Yeah, dude. So it came up from behind. Yeah. Oh shit. Bummer. So he's so he's Whoa. like this. <sighs> yes. One his buddy was like yelling. He was like, hit him. I would have pooped myself. <laughs> yeah. You're sitting there like this. And it's all of a sudden it's like he's jaws. He's thinking like, to himself, don't fall out of the Maybe guy. that's why he left because these he's holes like right here. So we came over to uh, the Boy Scout camp at Emerald, picked up a mooring. Our buddy Jimmy Shannon and his crew are over there diving Doctor's Cove. So we go to the boat and uh, get our stuff ready and go for a night dive. Pretty stoked. So, well, there's a lot of fish feeding out there too. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, a lot happening out there. So, um, yeah, looking forward to this night dive. It'll be Camille, Camille's first night dive. I'm not allowed to take lobsters though, it's so protected. It turns out this whole area is protected, so no lobster hunting here. Good but thing I didn't try. <clears throat> good thing she didn't <laughs> eat the ones we saw today. So, uh, yeah, stoked. Emerald Bay. This, this is the hard part. Ah! <laughs> Sleepy, lots of diving today and tonight. We're steady at 
He's in his little nest you made him. It's such a nice little, like, cubby in there for him. You're tired, though. I'm very tired. One more dive in the morning and then we sail home. Did you have a fun dive tonight? Did you like it? Yeah, there were too many people in the dive, but, um, saw some little sharks and saw some rays and a billion lobsters, but they're protected here so nobody can take them. That's so many lobsters. My ear hurts. I hope that it clears before tomorrow. It's kind of a little bit chilly, but it's nice that it's not rolly. We're not on a mooring. Or we are on a mooring. We're not anchored anymore. Echo one. Echo one. And Jean from Carlsbad in Mexico. As a shore boat captain. As a shore boat captain. <laughs> and I like James's hat and he was super nice. So we got him more. I'm tired too, I think. I'm very tanners in already. <laughs> Have a good day. Instead, he just came ashore, Emerald Bay Scout Camp. Yesterday, we got to see the infamous kayak that the Great White bit last weekend um, at Ship Rock, which is just like back that way. I don't know if you can see it because the sun. But um, the kayaker had left from here, and uh, I'll see if it's still sitting back here and show you guys. It's crazy. There's like news reports and everything. It shows the dude. He got to keep the teeth because the, the gray white left two teeth in it, and uh, that's how they determined how big it was. So this is the kayak where these ants are. That's the big. That's where one of the teeth was left. And then, uh, so the guy was sitting right here, and the gray white bit right there and shook the whole thing. You can see on the bottom all these marks. Pretty crazy. So now um, we were supposed to do some dives this morning, but Camille's ears hurting her from our dive last night. So I'm probably gonna dive with Jimmy Shannon to like a hundred feet, finish out my advanced. I've already dove all the advanced dives. We just haven't signed the paperwork on it basically. So uh, this is like the scout camp. They rent out one of the cabins every year, the um, dive shop he works at and um, do it up. I'm gonna go see if I can find them.
me and said he hiked up to a high point so we could get phone service had to call in to a 1-800 number to pay our mooring for the night for last night we're heading back to today uh, i have to work tomorrow so um just a quick trip out Supposed to have good winds this afternoon. We'll see. Hope oh, steady. Here's the boat. Beautiful morning. <clears throat> Let throw the frisbee for the hound. Wear him out a little bit, and then uh, head back see if Camille's up yet. It's really nice out. Hold up, partner. Hurting your feet, rough rocks. Morning, it's like 9.30 on Sunday. Um, yeah, 9.40. Uh, me and Steady are hanging out on the boat. Um, James is going and diving. I didn't get to go because I have some ear problems this morning. Um, I don't think I was, like, I fully cleared my ears last night when we were um, doing our night dive. And so I had to stay behind, which sucks. But it's better than risking my, my ears. Um, what else? I think we have to go home today. It seems like a really short trip, and it was. Um, James is going to finish his dive. Steady and I are going to like tidy up a little bit and go on a hike. Or maybe we'll wait for him. I don't know. They're, like, they can't, they're not going to be down there that long. They're going, to, they're going pretty deep, so they won't, they won't have that much time down. Um, but yeah, that's... Hopefully we get to go on a little hike and then we gotta pack up and go back to LA. We're at Doctor's Cove and James and Jimmy are just getting in the water for their deep dive. They're gonna go see a sailboat. And I'm really bummed I can't go. Mr. <laughs> Steady looks on. He wanted to go with, but I'm not letting him. Sounds like the water is colder today than it was yesterday. We're gonna go on our hike.
Water is so clear that I can see Garibaldi fish from up here. There's a little like flecks of orange. I don't know if you can see them. They're like right off the point of that rock. But it means the visibility is really amazing. And James is probably going to have an amazing dive. Up there. There's a pair of ravens hanging out right here. They mate for life and hang out together. They're probably a male and a female couple. There they go. up what part of the island like what we're looking at we're like on the other side of the sort of peninsula we were we started on that is back that way oh, feels good to So, me and the steady man found a another peak to climb up to. We're like, I have no idea how far we are. I think I've got some cow dog in me too. Like once I'm on, I want to just like keep going. Like he just wants to keep going. But um, we want to be back not too not too.
too much after James gets out of the water. So we'll probably head back. I don't know, that's like a, once we get back, it'll be like an hour hike. It's not, not too bad. We could go all day, but we would be sore at the end. And we gotta, we gotta sail home. So you see back down there. Hi. Don't want a sailboat? It's like right at that orange buoy out there. Finder. It was uh, in like 80 feet of wash, 78 feet is where we got to. It's cool. I hadn't, hadn't been down there very long. Yeah. See Nico Aminos? We saw Ray. About that big. Oh, and we saw his like smoke screen and we started looking and he went right by the boat and then as we came up to the sailboat, he came up, got good footage of him. Other than that, we didn't see many critters. No. Usual suspects. Yeah. But it was interesting though, because it was real cold at like 80, 78 feet. And then we hit that, what's it called? Thermal incline? Thermal climb. Thermal climb, and it was like the water looked like was wavy like the heat off your hood in the summer mm -hmm. it was so nuts man don't eat warm. those don't eat the bees so uh now it's time to pack up and sell home thanks for watching if you enjoyed this episode please give us a like subscribe and leave us a comment it helps us a lot thanks again to all of our patrons your contributions help us get the boat ready for big things until next time.